For years, we've heard professionals say nothing is stopping you. You can use your phone and shoot a movie. What are your thoughts on shooting a movie with your phone? I think that's a little disingenuous. There's a lot of things stopping you from making a movie, and it has nothing to do with the phone. It has nothing to do with the, the technology that's involved. Um, sure, you can use a phone and, and you can make a feature film, you can make a short film, you can make a commercial. I don't think that's really the point. I think the point for filmmakers out there is to have a point of view and some intention and want to make an emotional attachment or emotional connection with the, the audience. There's so many people out there taking their phone and dragging it through a puddle and saying, I'm a filmmaker. I think there's some, some problems with the terminology, the vernacular of being a filmmaker, because it's almost meaningless these days. Anyone who does anything with a camera can, can be a filmmaker, and I suppose that's a good and maybe a bad thing. But I think you need to use a few more words to really describe what it is that you're doing. And if we're talking about films, if we're talking about narrative or documentary, and you want to have that emotional connection with an audience, it's never been the technology. Although in the past, it, it, in the past, I think it really was. In the past, I think if you go back to the era of film, it was a massive, massive burden. But we've passed, surpassed that burden right now with adequate technology at least 10 years. So if, if you have come up in the last 10 years at all, the technology exists, even a phone could, could be acceptable. But yeah, I would say that the phone has never really been the, the thing that was stopping or helping someone to get it done. What arguments do you have for not using an iPhone to shoot a movie? Uh, I've got several, but I guess the, the, ma uh, the main argument for not using a phone for production is that you want to have appropriate control and you really do want to be specific about what it is that you're doing. If you just want to get it done, sure, the camera that you have with you might be in your pocket and that might be the easiest thing. And I believe that if you're doing sort of a hidden camera sort of verite, maybe a phone makes a lot of sense because you can kind of get away with it in public more than you can with another type of camera. However, as soon as you move into appropriate technology, and I would say appropriate technology for the job that you're doing, the task at hand, and cinema is a very specific task, and you can make all kinds of equipment work for cinema, but there's a reason why Hollywood doesn't actually really use phones. In fact, it's, there's a reason why Hollywood doesn't even use a lot of really inexpensive, smaller cameras for what they're doing, is because the appropriate technology is designed around a film crew. It's designed around moving as fast as you possibly can, giving you maximum flexibility and maximum control. Other technology have limitations, and it may not be limitations in the way they perform, but could definitely be limitations in the way that they're used. So you need to be able to use the camera equipment, uh, the camera equipment and all the equipment in the appropriate way to get the best results. That doesn't mean that you can't learn and adapt to other technology and get incredible results. I've been a proponent of this for decades, but um, yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really about how you use what you have and you use the most appropriate tool that you can for what it is that you're doing. And uh, sometimes that is very small equipment, very small types of cameras or maybe even a phone, but for Hollywood and for major productions, that's almost never the best choice. We recently heard about a YouTuber who used an iPad to film um, because of the larger screen. Should we be hearing about more filmmakers using iPads? I don't think so. <laughs> um, yeah, if, you, if you want me to, to follow up on that, I, I think that the iPad is a fine tool. It's, it, you know, could that same filmmaker have spent the same amount of money maybe on used equipment and actually gotten a better result? I would say yes, especially if it was an iPad Pro, a very, very expensive iPad. That same infrastructure that went into that iPad could have been redistributed to appropriate equipment, and I'm guessing they would have had better results. Has Hot Rod Cameras ever sold iPhones or any types of phones? Hot Rod Cameras does not sell um, phones. I don't think that Phones are the future of the industry. I know that there are, are some large electronics manufacturers out there who want to convince everyone that it, that is the future. I think it makes for some lovely commercials, but I really don't see the industry rushing to phones as a way to make, I'm gonna use the C word, uh -oh, okay. content. <laughs> <sighs> I don't, I know, it's, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 
content is uh, maybe perhaps uh, the, the, you know, the worst catch-all term out there, but I don't see Hollywood trying to make feature films turn into content, certainly in their production, by introducing content-style tools like phones. I think that really what Hollywood wants to do is use the appropriate equipment for the job by evidence of almost everything that is made these days and for the last hundred years. How does a filmmaker uh, get their phone ready to make a movie? If they have an iPhone, what would be some maybe lens adapters, uh, different things? God, I'm, I'm, I'm not the best person to... to okay. No, but I'm going I'm to answer this oh, question. Okay. No, no, but I'm not, I'm not the best person to advocate for uh, adding equipment to phones. I actually don't think that you derive a lot of benefit from the... Look, and I know people out there love their phone and they want to be able to use their phone for technology, and if that's all you have, great. I, I, I encourage you to explore and to create, absolutely. However, the amount of money that you're investing in a product that was, in a, in a device that was never designed to give you the results that you, were, you want to have and just happens to give a pretty good image, means that you're always going to be fighting against it, means that the interface and how that you work with it is always going to be your enemy. Whereas if you invested a small amount of money, even in something older and something that is used, you could be uh, miles ahead with it at the end of the day with your final product. Any other tips for filming with an iPhone? So if you are going to use your phone to try to make something, I think it's really important that you first understand how to see. And by talking about how to see, I mean really understand what it is that you are shooting and what it looks like, your composition and the lighting. And I think a phone is a great tool for that, especially, especially if you're actually using it to pre-visualize what you're going to do. So I think that the best aspect of a phone is that it gives you instant access to be able to understand more or less what it is that you're going to do with almost no effort. The other thing I would say is try to learn as much as possible how to turn off any automatic functions. If you can turn off the automatic functions of your device, it gives you a fighting chance to control your, your dynamic range, your, your brightest white and your darkest shadow, and that's gonna make a huge difference. Uh, audio is of course a, a big concern too. If you are going to try to record audio onto your device, there are some fairly inexpensive tools out there that you can use, but you might actually consider also recording your audio separately and then marrying your audio and picture together in post. You can probably get a better experience just because you don't have extra weird things hanging off of your phone.